greatness is not this um, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Period. It's that simple. I know who I am, and I know what I believe. I know who I am, I know who, what and I believe. that's all I need to know. And that's, that's all, all I, I need, need to, to know. know. So from there, you do what you need to do. Yeah. You know? And I think what happens is we make the situation more complex than it has to because be. Because we're looking for complexity. There's got to be Absolutely. something complex to understand. It right can't now. be that easy. In Well, uh, Prote, I was hoping you'd tell me more about home. Well, what would you like to know? Well, uh, do you, um, do you have a family on KPAX? It doesn't work on KPAX the same way it works here, Mark. On KPAX, we don't have families in the way that you think of them. In fact, family would be a non sequitur on our planet, as it would on most others. In other words, uh, you, uh, you never knew your parents. On KPAX, children are not raised by their biological parents, Mark, but by everyone. They circulate among us, learning from one and then another. Do you have a child? No. Do you have a wife waiting back for you on KPAX? Mark, Mark, Mark. You are not really listening to what I'm saying to you, are you? We do not have marriage on KPAX. There are no wives, there are no husbands, there are no families. I see. So, um, what about societal structure, government? No, there's no need for one. Well, you have no laws? No laws, no lawyers. How do you know right from wrong? Every being in the universe knows right from wrong, Mark. But what if, if someone did do something wrong, committed murder or a rape, how would you punish them? Let me tell you something, Mark. You humans, most of you, subscribe to this policy of an eye for an eye, a life for a life, which is known throughout the universe for its stupidity. Even your Buddha and your Christ had quite a different vision, but nobody's paid much attention to them, not even the Buddhists or the Christians. You humans, sometimes it's hard to imagine how you've made it this far. I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different than what has happened for the last 50 yeah, million yeah, years right. of history. You have to believe that something different can happen. You can't be scared to die for the truth. The truth is the only thing that's ever going to be constant. There's this Vietnamese guy, and he's in this hotel room. And Phoenix and he's sweating, sweating like hell. He's burning up. He takes out from his pocket a 44. He checks. It's loaded. I don't know why he checks. It's loaded. Surely he's the one who loaded it. Anyway, a hooker comes out of the bathroom in a beautiful red dress. She says, would you like to make love? Or should we have an intelligent conversation instead? I've been reading a lot of Noam Chomsky lately. I think he's a marvel. The Vietnamese guy, <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's Vietnamese. So anyway, you said you wanted some sex in it, so I guess they're having sex. He sniffs the air. He says the single word. The hooker, she studied Vietnamese at Yale. Kivai. 
Ja jam kom tai vai sang. Ro sẽ thấy. He drags her to the place where the convention's being held. She's got the dynamite tied to her. He's got the gasoline he's just bought. She backs away, petrified. He pours the gas out onto the floor. It reaches her feet. A little of it has splashed over himself. It doesn't matter. He takes out a match. In perfect Vietnamese, the hooker whispers. He shuts his eyes. Then he opens them again. He ain't in Phoenix anymore. He's sitting in the middle of a street in Saigon circa 1963 in the orange robes of his Buddhist daughter. And he's drenched himself in gasoline. And as he finally manages to push the thoughts of anger and hate out of his gentle mind, a fellow monk pleads with him one final time. See who no. And all angry thoughts finally dispelled. The first monk ever to burn himself to death to protest the war whispers, it might. It might. He must imagine. So, you know, you're. Viet Cong psycho story becomes the final thoughts of a man who chose not the darkness, but the light. The light being, you know, suicide by self-immolation. But I think that's the best we're going to get. And, you know, <clears throat> I know you said dream sequences are for fags, but I think it could work, don't you? We all got a dream, don't we? <laughs>